Hey everybody, Julie here from Mostly Caffeinated. I'm at a little bit of a different angle today because I'm going to do a what's in my deck break video. And I wanted to, I don't know if this is actually going to work, but I was hoping that you could maybe actually see more of what I was talking about like this. So let me know if that works. Um, anyway, what's in my deck break? Um, as you can expect from my channel at this point, this is unedited. Um, also, my diaper bag is unedited. Like, I kind of need to clean it um, because I need to use it this afternoon. And so you're seeing, like, legit everything that's in there and everything that's not in there. Like, there might not be diapers. I don't know. <laughs> um, and I kind of have two diaper bags, so I'm going to show you both of those. This is the first one. This is one of these little, like, J.J. Cole diaper clutch things um, from, like, Babies or Us or something. I don't know what the pattern is called, but um, J.J. Cole, if you're not familiar, um, does different kind of, like, designer patterns. And then all their stuff matches. You'll see one more J.J. Cole item in a second. But I just kind of liked this one. <laughs> and <clears throat> it's coming apart. Can you see this? Like the Velcro is totally coming off. <laughs> so I got this um, as a baby shower gift of my first baby. So anyway, you unvelcro this, and then oop, inside of there I have a Ziploc bag with some of these Annie's Bunny crackers, and a Ziploc bag with some Cheerios. <laughs> anyway, you unfold the thing, um, and it folds into nine squares, so like thirds and then thirds again, and it's a changing pad, and then there's like a pocket. Um, I have some diapers in here. I have a couple of three diapers for my baby, size threes. And then a little pack of wipes. I'm sure those are dried out. Those are hecka old. Um, but anyway, I take this with me to church um, because we walk to church. We only live three blocks away. And I do not want to take like a giant diaper bag into church. My kids, my giant diaper bag. And blah, blah, blah. So I just take this little clutchy thing. Which is why there's, like, snack remnants tucked in there. Um, and then the, the little wristlet strap thing. Um, it clips and unclips. I'm saying um a lot. I'm really sorry. I haven't had my coffee yet. It clips and unclips, so I keep some toys on here for my baby. Um, this little hedgehog teether. I don't know what brand this is, but this is fantastic. It's got, like, nubbies up here, and this part is, like hard plastic and then the feet and the head are like silicone um and this was a gift from a friend for my second baby so this hasn't fed through two kids but look at how well this is held up like he chews on it and there is no you can't see anything so he loves this little guy and then this little string of plastic keys um these were actually mine when i was a baby and if the camera was really high quality you'd see all the chew marks but he likes to play with these um, so I keep those on here because I take those to church for him. Um, for my three-year-old, my church has like little activity bags for the kids. And he just plays with whatever's in there. But I need something for the baby to chew on. So there's that. Okay, then on to my main big diaper bag. Hang on. It's so heavy. Okay. It is Carter's. I don't know if you can see the Carter's logo there. But it's this situation. It's, I don't know, I think it's called a satchel. It's just got like the two handles, um, like a handbag would have. And then it's black. It's, it's this. Um, I don't have like a shoulder strap, but actually these are long enough that I wear it over my shoulder like this. I don't ever carry anything on my arm like this. I, sure, it looks cool, but it, you're like a T Rex, and I can't do it. So anyway, it's big enough that it goes over my shoulder. And I have had this for three years. I got this as a gift with my first baby. And there's a little wear and tear on, like, the pleather. I don't know if you can see this. Like, it's starting to fray a little bit here. Um, but other than that, it's held up really well. So let's dive in, shall we? Uh, front pocket. This is the front where the label is. It's a little confusing. That's a thing. Um, this is not a husband-friendly diaper bag because it's the same all the way around. Like, it's, it's symmetrical. It's got the same pockets on the sides and the front and the back. So we can't ever figure out where I put anything. I'll tell him in the front, and he apparently doesn't know what to look for this thing. But anyway, in the front, I've got car keys and the rest of my keys. Um, these are two different cars. They just, the remotes look the same. 
and I don't know why these aren't attached, but there we go. So he's got the keys in the front there. And that's that, that's the only thing I try to keep in this pocket. So anything else I find in here is a mystery. Um, oh, I have a rewards key tag to my grocery store. 30 bucks. That's cool. <laughs> Let's see. Paperclip? A different kind of paperclip? I'm a teacher, can you tell? A bobby pin? Bobby pins. Some change. Oh, a sticker from Target for my son. More bobby pins. Apparently, this is where all my good bobby pins are hanging out. Holy cow, it's yeah. Seattle. Um, okay, I just have to show you this because shh, good bobby pins. Like, what do I mean by good bobby pins? I mean these. These are, I don't know the brand. I got them from my hairdresser. Um, they're from Canada, and they're grippy. I don't know if I could possibly get close enough for you to see the texture. But they're like, there. They're like textured. Um, so they don't slide around in your hair. These are like a godsend. Um, I got these from my hairdresser when she did my hair for a wedding I was in. Um, she used the, um, she used these to help it stay up because my hair is very hard to bobby pin. It's very thick and curly. So she used these and then, I don't know if you know this, um, but if you get your hair professionally done for something formal like that, you keep the bobby pins. So I have a bunch of these now and they're wonderful. Okay, that's all from this front pocket. Let's move on to the side pockets. In this side pocket, I have my one Aiden and Dene, Aiden and Anise. I don't know how you say this. A muslin swaddle blanket. It's the lion's one. So cute. Um, um okay, it's got I gotta drink some of this coffee because this is ridiculous. Okay. Anyway, I didn't receive these as gifts for my first child. I didn't register for them. I thought they were exorbitant. Like, that's really expensive. Why on earth do you need to spend like 30 bucks on a swaddle blanket? And I didn't register for them with my second. And I was just chugging along with the blankets that we had. And then a friend of mine um, got handed down two of these blankets. And she was using one as a nursing cover in the summer because they're very light. I don't know what I just heard, because it's very light. And I was kind of admiring it. I said, oh, that is really, you know, big and soft. She said, I have a second one, and I won't ever need two at once. Do you want it? And I said, oh, sure. And I used it for a nursing cover, which is why it's in my diaper bag. Um, and it was great for that. And then my son, when he was about six months old, decided he wanted to be swaddled again. And so I helped me no blankets were big enough except for this one. So then I actually used it as a swaddle, as it was intended. Um, but it's gone back to being a nursing cover, and it's just hanging out in my diaper bag here. Other side pocket, empty. I usually have a burp rug in here. Um, burp cloth, towel. I don't have one right now, <laughs> so I'm like, uh, kind of crossing my fingers. Because I had a burp cloth in here, and I had some towels in the van, and then my three-year-old threw up all over the van a couple days ago, so they all got used. Okay. Back pocket. Um, it's the same as the front pockets, just on the back of the bag. These I knew were in here. This is what I intentionally keep in here. Hand and face wipes from Target. Um, I'm not... Um. I'm not brand loyal. I just picked these up because they were the cheapest ones at Target and I needed some hand and face wipes. Boogie wipes are good. Those actually have saline on them. I didn't know that. I always thought boogie wipes were overrated, but turns out they're saline wipes. So that might actually be helpful if you've got, like, a booger problem. But I just wanted something that I could wipe my kids' hands and face off with in the car when they eat something that wasn't a diaper wipe. I'm not fancy. I'm not rich. I don't use water wipes. Okay, I use just regular diaper wipes, like, fragrance-free, whatever brand diaper wipes. And I don't want to put those on their face. So I just got a little baggy these. No, anything else back here is a surprise. A washcloth. It's clean. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, let's be candid. That's a panty liner. I don't know why it's in that pocket. That's not where I keep my stuff. Okay, but. So we'll just, we'll just keep that to put somewhere else. Okay. 
um, no washcloth doesn't need to be in there. So I'll put the things that actually belong in these pockets back in these pockets. And then all the other stuff, you know, can, can just stay. Um, one downfall of this diaper bag is it does not have a insulated pocket for bottles. That's the word for bottles or sippy cups. It does not. These side pockets are big enough to put a sippy cup, but there's no insulation. Um, it does have stroller straps, which are great. I never, ever, ever hook this to a stroller, but I do hook it to Kurtz when I'm shopping. That's why they're unsnapped. Okay. Then into the big pocket. This is a disaster. I don't know if you can see in here. Like most of what you see is my wallet, but it's a disaster. Okay, so let's just dig right in there. I have my wallet. This is my big fat mom wallet. Um, it's a wallet that can keep a checkbook, although right now I don't have a checkbook. It's got all my loyalty cards and gift cards in there. There's nothing in this little pocket. And then this um, is where I would have a checkbook if I was responsible and had ever put my checkbook back in. And this is, I used to keep all my cards and my ID in here. I'll talk about that in a hot second. And then I got a little change pocket here, so. Throw that change in there. And one tip I have is I always keep a piece of mail in here, like a utility bill or something. Because this seems to happen to me more often than not. I need a library card, I need to register to vote, I need gosh knows what, and I need to like prove my residence. So I just started keeping a piece of mail in my wallet. It's been helpful. Here's my other wallet. Yeah, I got two wallets. <laughs> I used to just carry this one. This one got annoying and I couldn't fit it in my pocket. I couldn't, I don't know. I should just get rid of this one, I think. Because I don't carry a checkbook anymore. But anyway, I got this little like slimmer, kind of hard sides wallet. Um, and in here I keep my cards and my ID. That's what I'm covering up there is my ID. It's got a little change pocket um, and a cash pocket. So I'll just, I'll just put this cash that I found in there. And that's actually what I use. I got a teddy bear snack container. Um, not the highest quality. It's all kind of destroyed. I really only use this for my toddler. And it's kind of wrecked. But um, I liked it because it had a bigger opening that actually clipped tightly shut. Um, that little goldfish one is super cute, but the opening is like this, and the cover doesn't stay shut, and it drives me nuts. I have bendy straws. Okay, mom life hack. I take bendy straws in my diaper bag everywhere I go, and that way, um, if the kids are at a restaurant or something, they don't have to try to like deal with the, the straw in their drink, and they're spilling it. Bendy straws. I have a pair of, like, dress shoes. Because um, <laughs> the other day, I was visiting one of my friends. No, my sister-in-law. I was visiting my sister-in-law and she handed these down for my nephew, for my oldest. A pair of sunglasses. They look like Wayfarers, but they were like five bucks. My reading glasses, um, which I dare say were from the dollar store and look weirdly similar to my actual glasses. Um, but if I'm wearing my contacts, I need readers sometimes. I have terrible eyesight, so. Uh, this case is pretty cool. I got it at a thrift store, not gonna lie. Put it in magnets shut and it's clear so I can see which pair of glasses are in there. Um, little hard side box of wipes. So I don't have to keep the whole brick of wipes in here. Empty plastic bag. Diaper for the baby. Diaper for the toddler. Um, he's potty trained, but if he takes a really long nap in the car, he wears a diaper. There's another diaper for the toddler. <laughs> Pair of undies for the toddler. The Thomas the Tank Engine. He loves them. A charger. What is this charge? This charge is my iPod, um, but it's a cool little cord because it can change from being like a mini USB to like the big wide iPod charger. This is all just stuff loose in the middle pocket, by the way. What is this? This is a onesie for the baby. Um, in case something happened to his clothes, he could at least throw that on. Receipt target. Oh yeah. A list of things. 
that I was looking for at Target. A gift card from Target. Sensing a theme. It's a little snooping. This is my baby's. Um, my sister got one of these for my oldest son. It's blue, and so she got this little orange one for my second son. What else is loose in here? Ooh, a coupon for a uh, beverage from Target. Let me keep that. Yes. Uh, okay. A book about Snoopy. A little board book. This is a pouch full of crayons. <laughs> you know your mom went. Uh, this is a gift card to the Google Play Store. I don't know why that's loose in my diaper bag. Oh, this is a little book my son made at the library one time. That's fun, but does not belong in there. Uh, another bag. The little taggy off some tea. This is what I keep um, toys in. <laughs> Who gave me this? My mother-in-law, I think. It's from ARP. Like... It's hilarious. Anyway, she gave me these little travel cubes, and this was the smallest one. I think you're supposed to put, like, underwear and socks in here, but it seemed foolishly tiny to me. So I keep toys in here. I've got, um, well, okay, usually I have more toys in here than this. I'm not really sure what's up with that. But I have some Legos. These are Mega Blocks, or I think, or Duplos. Are these called Duplos? They say Mega Blocks, but they're the size of Duplos. <sighs> some of those. Um, a little tiny package of crayons, because I need more crayons in my life. And this teether thing. Sorry, drop stuff. Don't leave it on the floor, baby. We'll eat it. Okay. Um, these, this came in a three-pack. There was like a red one and a blue one, and they're all slightly different shapes. But they're kind of those water-filled ones. My mother-in-law got these for my baby. He loves them. My oldest did not care, but my baby loves these. We call this one the Triforce. Um, and this is the one that lives in the diaper bag. So when he drops it... If we're like out of the restaurant or something. <laughs> we'll go. Do the Triforce. Have you seen the Triforce? It's pretty funny. I have the changing pad that came with my diaper bag. Because this is the pattern of the inside lining. Um, it's plastic on both sides, which is kind of nice. If something happens to one side, you can flip it over. This. Oh. <laughs> These are keys to our house. This is the envelope we got um, when we closed on this new house that has some keys in it. And this is a shopping list for Target. Here's a loose diaper for the baby with a Target sticker stuck to it. Here's a pad of paper to use with those crayons. Oh. Goodwill Rewards card for my new Goodwill. Excellent. Garage door opener that we got when we closed on our house. Coupon. Oh, not even a coupon. It's just something that's telling me to get a Target red card. I'm just going to throw that right in the trash. A hair tie. I like these, and now I can't find them. They were um, Goody brand, and they're like... They're almost like that sports wrap stuff. Like, they're kind of wide, and then they roll up. And they're just fabric. Um, there's no elastic inside of them. They're just stretchy fabric. I love these. They are my favorite. Um, a Hot Wheels car. I'm sure there's more in here where that came from. A travel potty seat. Like Rayco. Um, it folds into fourths. It unfolds. Um, it's not like the sturdiest thing in the world, but it's way better than your toddler panicking because they have to poop and they can't fit on a public toilet. They keep it in as a black bag, just for sanitary's sake. Mm, a shopping list of books. Why is that in there? Crumbs, you know. Okay, that's all the loose stuff from the middle of my diaper bag. Now there's a zipper pocket back here. This is where I usually keep like my stuff, like this panty liner I found before. Should be in there. Okay, also in there is a tube of petroleum jelly because I had two little boys. 
And when they're teeny tiny, you need to put that on if you have them circumcised with every diaper for like a month. This is a Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain. I feel like if I loved this, it would have found its way out of my diaper bag. I should try that out. Um, a nail polish. That doesn't belong in there. What is it? Sally Hansen Instant Dry. This is the longest video of life. Oh my gosh. Okay. Another nail polish. This one's Elf. Glitter. I must have been doing my nails, like, on a road trip for a holiday or something. Here's some more hair ties. This is a key to church. Ooh, Ricola cough drops. Those are the only cough drops I can stand. Here's a little, uh, little pouch of bobby pins. Why I don't just keep all my hair stuff in this little pouch instead of shoving it in random pockets, I will never know. But isn't that just the truth? Okay. It's Akita. I don't know what. I think my van. Oh, I have so many keys to my van. Um, we bought it from my parents, and it's like... They had a million keys, so I have a million keys. There's also a little pair of white gloves in here. Um, I used to be the director of a handbell choir at my church. And you have to wear those little gloves when you play handbells. Because otherwise, you'll tarnish the bells with the oil from your hands. And I was so like involved that I had them in my hair bag. And there's some interior pockets here. Um, these are just elasticated. There's two here in the back. Another pair of reading glasses. And these are my red ones. Yeah. Okay. I don't need two. I'll take one of them out. What is this? Oh, Dramamine. That's important. Um. Um. I never used to get motion sick, but after I had my second baby, it's like, I get motion sickness. A nail file. A pen. A pencil. Another pen. This is already overkill. Like, how can I possibly need this many pens? I'm a big. I was a teacher, so. Uh, these are gift certificates. Ooh, a little rollerball of perfume that I really like. Another pen. I'm feeling bobby pins. Yep, yep. Oh, and some really tiny little hoop earrings. Tiny little hoop earrings. Oh. Of course, my little baggie for bobby pins has disappeared into a different pocket. I have so many bobby pins in there. I don't need all those. That's crazy. Okay, that one's empty. So I'll put my pens and my nail file back in there. Okay, then attached to the little key ring thing in here, I have this JJ Cole. It's called a pacifier pouch. Is that what's actually in here? Oh yeah, there's an actual pacifier in here. This is MAM brand, M-A-M. My son hasn't taken a pacifier in a number of months, but just to be safe. Then, okay, so that's the whole back. And then in the front here, can you see that? Sorry, worst diaper bag video ever. In the front, there's, no, get out of the way. There, okay, there's two elastic pockets, and then each one's got like a mesh pocket in front of it. And that's where the diapers are supposed to be living. Um, one elasticated pocket for each child was the idea. Um, there is, oh, that is a toddler diaper. Okay. So, turns out I do have three diapers for my toddler in here. I can't get them back in right now, so out they go. And then there's nothing in that mesh pocket. And then baby size diapers. One, two, three of those, and I had a couple more. Oh, four. I had a couple more before. 
And then in his elasticated pocket, uh, mesh pocket in the front, there is yet another baby diaper. Okay, I used to keep like clothes in those pockets. I don't know what happened. And I think that's the whole thing. I think that's everything. It's empty. Um, it does not have. I mean, the the liner is wipeable, but it's not that plastic stuff, which I like because it doesn't disintegrate. No. Um, yep, it's got no feet. I don't feel like I need feet. But that's what's in my diaper bag, and now I have to put the diapers back in here and then deal with the rest of this mess. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this ridiculously lengthy video, 25 minutes. I will see y'all later. Bye.